Hey guys, this is Clint Carter, and I want to talk about winter sleeping bags. Now, a lot of people think there's no way you can go camping in the winter because it's too cold, but I'm telling you, Winter is actually the best time to go camping. There's nobody else on the trails, there are no mosquitoes out, and if you have a good sleeping bag, you're gonna sleep the deepest, most comfortable sleep of your life. So in broad strokes, there are four things you wanna look at when you're shopping for a sleeping bag. You wanna look at the temperature rating, the weight of the bag, the size of the bag, and the insulation that's in that sleeping bag. Let's start with the Slumberjack Wheeler Lake 20 degree bag. Now, it says right in there in the name that it's a 20 degree bag, so you know it's gonna be comfortable to temperatures down that low. It's also a pretty big bag. This is gonna take up a lot of space in your backpack, so I probably would only use this bag for car camping or maybe really short hikes. It weighs a little bit over five pounds. Um, that's more than I really wanna carry for a full day hiking. Look at that. That takes up a lot of space. I mean, I still have to squeeze in my tent. I have to get in a camp stove. I have to get in extra layers, water, food. All these things still have to go in this bag and I'm not gonna have a lot of room for it. Now, the reason this is a bigger bag is because it's using a sort of inexpensive synthetic insulation, which just means you have to have more of it and it doesn't pack down quite as small. So if you do end up in this bag, at least you'll have this nice wide foot box at the bottom, which means you're gonna have a lot of room to roll around. So it's definitely gonna be a comfortable bag, but it's gonna be bigger and uh, it's gonna weigh more. So you have to consider that impact on your bag if you're hiking. But if you're car camping and you wanna save some money, it's $90 and it will keep you warm. Next bag here is the Nemo Forte. It's also a 20 degree bag, but look how small this packs down. This is gonna be a lot easier to carry. It's also just over three pounds. That's more than two pounds lighter than the Slumberjack bag we just looked at. So I would probably hike with this bag. I would feel comfortable with it. This bag also has some really cool features. First is what Nemo calls a spoon-shaped design. So the bag's a little wider in the shoulders and in the knees, so if you're a side sleeper especially, you're gonna find it really comfortable to sleep in. Probably my favorite feature on this bag are these zippers that run along the abdomen. Nemo calls these thermogills, and they essentially drop the bag's temperature by 10 to 20 degrees. So it's a 20 degree bag, but if you want to take this out in the fall on a night that's gonna hit 40 degrees, you'd be really comfortable in this still. And finally, really cool feature here, You've got the hood that goes around, all around your head at night to keep you warm, but inside it you've got a little pocket and uh, you can either put you know, your camp pillow in there or you can stuff in some extra layers that you're carrying and it essentially turns it into a pillow for you. So that's gonna help you have a little bit more of a comfortable sleep when you're in a tent all night. The next bag I wanna talk about is the Kamek Thylacine. Now what really sets this bag apart from the first two bags we looked at is that it's made with duck down insulation. That's a natural insulation that's a little bit lighter. This bag is just over two pounds. It's um, packs down a little bit smaller. You can really push this into the bottom of your hiking bag and uh, it's gonna cost you a little bit more money. But for the payoff, you get an awesome hiking bag. This is one I would definitely carry into the back country with me. A cool comfort feature on this one is you've got these straps that go across the abdomen. You've got four of them and you can just kind of cinch yourself in. They're stretchy so they're not really going to constrict you but they keep everything tight which winds up making for a really cozy night's sleep. Another cool thing that Kamek has done here, so they designed this bag to be comfortable at 20 degrees but they've also designed it to uh, accept an optional liner that adds more down insulation and effectively turns it into a zero degree bag. So you can decide, 20 degree night or zero degree night. The liner unfortunately does not come with it. It's $200 extra, so I mean it's an investment. It's a, a zipper and then you've just got eight little Velcro ports. It takes two minutes and then you've added a whole another layer of insulation. Uh, which is really good if you're gonna be out in, in really extreme harsh weather. So this last bag is a bomber bag. This is the Thermarest Polar Ranger, and it's rated for negative 20 degrees. So what makes a bag rated for negative 20 degrees? For starters, this one has 800 fill power down. So fill power is what manufacturers use to rate the quality of the insulation that they're putting into puffy jackets or sleeping bags. And 800 fill power means that it takes very little insulation to do a whole lot of work. So good insulation is helping this bag a lot. 
So a lot of features here are designed especially for really extreme cold conditions. You see that none of these zippers go too far down. You've got one zipper right here and it stops right about the knees. You also see the hood goes all the way around your head and basically gives you just small enough of a port to where you can breathe, uh, but you're not gonna have a lot of heat loss. And you've got this snorkel here, which essentially keeps any cross drafts off of your face. And the snorkel is actually made with synthetic insulation. Now the rest of the bag, like I said, is all down, but the snorkel is synthetic. And what that does is it allows this to handle some of the moisture from your breath. The hardest time to stay warm on any camping trip is that time when you're just sitting around the campsite. So with that in mind, Thermarest put these arm ports here so that you can essentially wear this bag like a full body parka, get your arms out to arrange your tent or cook your coffee or make dinner at night. You can do all of that stuff while you're in the sleeping bag, staying warm, and that's a really smart feature on this one. Essentially, the back of this bag has uh, these straps built into it, and um, that's a really nice feature when it comes time to set up your camp and you're getting situated on your sleeping pad. Uh, if you want to take the time to sort of strap the sleeping pad to the back of the bag, you can do that and uh, it means that you're not going to have to worry about rolling off of this thing all night. You're going to be attached to it. So strapped in, flip it over, and now your bag's attached to the pad. The Polar Ranger is probably not a bag for your casual campers. It costs $700, but you know, it will keep you warm in the harshest of Arctic temperatures. So, there's definitely something to be said for that. Mm -hmm.